and not good morning. It's actually... in the evening time but I haven't vlogged in quite a while uh, I didn't vlog at all last weekend and I haven't vlogged at all this week we are down to like six days of school left I think um, which is insane uh, today was such a good day though with my kids like they were so just chilled out and calm and we got like a lot done and it was just a fun day we have been doing um, rotations with um first second and third grade and so we basically just we rotate like classes and so um today i had a first grade class and i've been reading the wild where the wild things are and then um we're we've been making uh face masks and i glue like a little stick onto the bottom so that's been fun um and it's just kind of nice because one i get to see the first graders like coming up from or coming in and they're gonna be in my class next year potentially so that's kind of nice to get to know some of the kids because I don't really know a lot of them and then um, it's also just kind of nice because it's the same activity and I get to do it like multiple times so it's a lot less planning time and then my kids get to go do like other fun things and then my kids get to go see like the third grade classes and so it's a lot of fun we do it like pretty much every year um, I didn't do it last year and I regretted it um, but yeah so I'm doing it this year so that's been fun and um, there's one other thing I was going to share about that. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, tomorrow's Thursday, so we don't have any rotations because our first grade, I think, someone, something, someone was doing something and so we couldn't do rotations tomorrow. But, um, I'm currently working on report cards because report cards are due. Um, I also have a paper that has to be written for my master's class because this is our last week of the class. I'm almost done with two classes, which is crazy. And um, I got most of my stuff done last night during class, which is probably not like the best thing, but I was just like on a roll and all the stuff that we were talking about was like not, I don't know, it was like, it was whatever. So I was just like working on my stuff and we were like talking about all that stuff at the same time. So I was kind of like typing as I was talking, but um, yeah, so I got a lot of it done last night and I just have one paper. It's like nine or nine pages seven pages I think it's supposed to be seven they said nine but then it, now they said seven so I think it's seven pages and most of it I think I really, like already have I just have to plug it in because it's more of like a cumulative like end of the class thing I don't know so I have that to do this week um then that's pretty much it so pretty easy week for the most part, I thought it was going to be a lot harder, but I think once my report cards are done and once I get that paper done, then I will feel a lot better. <laughs> but I was kind of thinking it was going to be crazy, but I think it'll be fine. So, Jenner's about to come in. So, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, I got 17 report cards done, and the last ones are always, like, the easiest ones for me because I just, um, or there's just not as much, like... I don't know, I feel like by this point, like, I really know my kids, and, um, these ones in particular, sorry, that's what I really love, these ones in particular, we, um, had to fill out what we call, like, a student snapshot for, oh, that's way too much paper to put in the trash can, um, for the next year's teacher, and basically it has on there, like, their, well, that's, sorry, that was really close to my face, um, it has their current reading level, it has their, like, end of the year, uh, test scores, it has, um, like, any sort of, like, data, like, if the kid is on an IEP, um, if they have, like, a 504 plan, if they're an EL, um, and then their iReady scores as well, so I had that all for my kids, so it was all, or, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It was way easier because I had all that information like right in front of my face instead of having to like pull it from all different places, which I would normally have to do. So that actually made it really easy because everything was like right there in front of me. So I just went in order of like the page as I like went through. So I got 17 done. And um, the other ones, what is that, like 11 that I have left? I have 28 kids, yeah, 11. Um, they're not like completely blank, like I already have a good amount done. I, I always get like the easy stuff out of the way, the stuff that's like most of the kids get like the same score, like um, the technology grade and like stuff like that. Like my kids, they all get the same score for stuff like that. Um, so, or like the yes or no's, like if they're not an EL, they just get a no, where they're, if they are EL, then they get a yes, stuff like that I fill out beforehand, but yeah. So, one last thing I was going to share with you guys before I head to the gym, I'll probably just do this video, 
uh, over <laughs> two days. Um, but yeah, it's because there's not much going on today. <laughs> um, I flipped this around to just like, I don't know, make it cuter. The, um, this is my notebook, sorry. My notebook and then this is like actually the other side, but I just flipped it around just because I wanted to look at something different. And then I um, added some little stickers today, but that wasn't even like the cutest part. And then my um, one of my amazing partners, she printed um, all of these. So I keep like all of my um, like standards and stuff in here, so I can bring these to bring this to meetings, and then I just like can grab it quickly and have all this stuff like right in front of me. So I just printed it, and then like I. Um, taped it to the page because at that time I didn't have one of these hole punches now I have a hole punch but yeah so that um oh okay so then this is what my team has been working on and we these are our progressions and so these are oh my goodness these are like we broke up each of our standards and um how like we're going to go about teaching them so it breaks up the standard blah 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 blah. but anyway that's not what I'm trying to say but I put she printed them all out for me in color and so I put them all with these little tabs which I think looks so cute see these are all the math high priority standards I'm going to have all the ELA high priority standards and then I have our calendar that she um created well not she we all created but she like put it actually in a calendar for us um then she just made us a copy and so we have like all of our stories that we're going to be doing and everything like that and then we have the same thing for um math so we have it separate and then she also broke up all of our math stuff for us and then printed it for us so i went through and hole punched it all but i don't know why i just think it looks so cute because i've never been able to use these little tabs that i had they're like just stickers um they just like stick to the page, but yeah, so I don't know why I was just so excited. I'm getting excited for um, next year and picking out my um, happy planner for next year because I don't know which one I want to get yet and it's so exciting to start like a new planner. I'm definitely going for the big one next year. Um, I do not want to even play around with the small one, the classic size. I did not like the classic size. I like the big one better, so I'm definitely going to go big next year, um, but yeah, so... I'm gonna head to the gym. I didn't go to the gym yesterday because I had class and I didn't wake up early enough to go. I've been going in the morning on my school days, but I just, I don't know what happened yesterday. I did not wake up, so I didn't go yesterday. And um, Monday we didn't have school and I didn't end up going to the gym Monday either. So I definitely am gonna go today. I'm gonna get like a good um, arm workout in and then I'm gonna make fish tacos for dinner. So I'm pretty excited about that. But I was quickly gonna show you my outfit. Um, so I've got this dress from Macy's. I've worn it before like in quite a few videos, but I just think it's super cute um, because it's just like casual. I don't know. I really like it. And then um, it's just ties at the waist and it's so comfy and I like the like detailing up at the top. And then my favorite part is my shoes or are my shoes. Is my shoes? Are my shoes? And they are just, I think, the cutest things ever. I got them at... Um, walmart actually and i've seen them there before and they just didn't have my size but i think that they are so cute like perfect for summer um, and they're not too high like they're really easy to walk in they're like a little high but i feel like my other wedges are like the same height but um they're not hard to walk in or anything so that makes it nice um i don't know maybe i won't even actually continue this vlog i'm so stuffed up if you can't tell my allergies have been killing me just horrendous but i think it's because all the rain last week like it's been crazy weather here like not may weather today was actually the first warm day which was really nice but yeah oh here's some masks that people left behind um i can show you this is what we did for our my little activity so these are um some of the masks that a couple of girls left behind i gotta go give them to them tomorrow um they weren't glued yet so they left them behind theirs turned out really cute i love the flowers on this one um so yeah these ones actually kind of remind me of like um dia de los muertos stuff someone even said like oh are those for dia de los muertos and i was like no <laughs> they're monster masks but they didn't really make them monstery i just thought that was funny so let's um head to the gym and get our workout in and then head home and i will catch up with you guys when I get home. Oh, I was gonna show you. I just saw the box in my camera reminded me. I got a couple things from um, Carson DeLosa um, that I picked out. I had a gift card to you, so I picked some stuff out. Um, this is a place value like set. Um, I just thought the pieces might be kind of cool. I don't know. That's like what's in it. 
it was interesting it was super cheap so i would think it was on clearance so i just got it and it matched my costume and so let's see all that stuff is like stuff i've already showed you guys um i got one of these because i thought that would be kind of nice another place value thing um i think normally people use these for like um, counting the days of the school year, but I'll probably use it more just like for place value, but they do a lot of straws in Eureka um, So I went got that because it was kind of cheap and I just figured something that would be useful I got two things of border. This one's like sprinkles and then this one's stripes. I thought those were cute um, And I also got these little tassel I don't know what you call these like tassels oh cutouts and then i think that's it this is all stuff that i've already had before um yeah yep that's it so i got that kind of <coughs> oh my gosh i got that stuff for next year I just got in the car and I was reminded of what happened over the weekend so I was gonna tell you my story because I was so annoyed like it was so hard to not like just want to scream of annoyance but we went to Starbucks on Monday was that Monday yeah Monday and um, I got like a coffee and Skylar got a frappuccino like a tall one but and it didn't have a it didn't have um, whipped cream on it so it was like a flat lid but he set it down like in here and I was in the driver's or I was in the passenger seat and which you can actually see it's right here um, but he set it in here and I could like see on the edge of it that there was um, like drink was coming out of it so I was like trying to fix it before it um, was spilling because I was like I don't want it to get in the car so I pick it up and then I'm holding it and I'm not even kidding you it just like exploded like literally the whole drink just exploded not even the whole drink it was like a quarter of the drink but it made the biggest mess in the world and it's it was just all over the car all over the seat all over me like my clothes were covered in java chip frappuccino <sighs> i was so mad because now the car smells like a frappuccino and i think it's so disgusting because i don't like stuff like that and but axel got a puppuccino so that was cool. I'm blaming it on the puppuccino, even though um, they handed us a drink before we asked for a puppuccino. But yeah. So I got like most of the stain out. You can kind of still. Oh, and the camera looks worse. Oh my gosh. I swear in person it didn't look that bad. Um, there's still like a little bit right there. And you can see like the seat from um, the car like the carpet cleaner stuff I was using. So I think if I just like keep doing it. I need to take like an actual carpet cleaner to it. But I just don't have one. I need to get the one from my mother-in-law and use it. Because you can kind of tell on the camera like there's definitely spots. Um, it smells a lot better in here today. But it's still like I don't know. I was so mad though. Like my brand new car. <sighs> so I just had to share that story because as soon as I got in the car, I like smelled it and it like brought back all the memories. So <sighs> yeah. All right, gym time. Let's go. I was probably also stalling because I didn't want to go to the gym. So that's probably why I wanted to share that story. You guys, I went to the grocery store and I realized when I put the stuff in the back um, that all those napkins are back here from when. I spilled that drink, which is probably why the car smells not from the seat. I did not realize these were back here. Ah. Do you guys see this lazy dog? <laughs> oh, you heard me talking about you or what? You're funny. <laughs> Okay, so I'm home now and I'm making fish tacos. I think I said that earlier, but I've got the um, or I've got some white rice going in here. I'm gonna make like cilantro, lime rice. So I just have white rice and then I'm gonna put cilantro and lime juice when it's done. And then I've got um, stuff to make. I'm gonna try to make like a ta uh, fish taco like sauce. So I did some sour cream. Um, I'm just kind of throwing this together. I have no idea if it's going to taste good, but we'll see. I'm going to do half of an avocado. I'm going to do some cilantro, probably two limes, and probably a little bit of mayo. 
you're being quite annoying probably a little bit of mayo and then like seasonings like chili powder and stuff like that so we'll just see how it goes and i'll let you know <laughs> Okay, so this actually turned out really good. It tastes really good, so I'm not mad at it. I only ended up doing one and a half. I swear, the second I start talking every time. Um, I only did one and a half lines because they had a lot of juice in them. And then I've got the fish here. So I just made it into like smaller pieces. These are still like really big, but if I made it any smaller, then they would have been like too small, so that's fine. Um, and this is rockfish. Um, so I've got the like batter here, and then I've got a little bit of oil in the pan, and we're just gonna fry them up. All right, I made two tacos. I only had flour tortillas, and I really don't like corn, so I just used flour. And then I have a little bit of rice. I probably shouldn't have even made rice because these tacos are so big. And then I mixed the like dressing that I made with um, cabbage. Instead of like drizzling it on, I just mixed it together because it's probably easier that way. So, bon appetit! Alright, kitchen is all cleaned up. There's nothing better than a clean kitchen after dinner's done. Also, I don't know why, I think the label on these is like the coolest thing ever. It's, um, sparkling water clearly we go through so much sparkling water those are both sparkling water cases that need to be thrown away um i don't know why i just think like the design of it is so cool the air the new um what is that arizona um design i don't know why that's not focusing i just think it looks really cool but anyway it looks kind of like vintagey in a way i don't know anyway nothing's better than a clean kitchen and it's all clean the dishes are all done and now I can go relax and go figure out something to watch. I should have probably brought my Chromebook home to finish report cards, but I only have what, 11 left, like I said. So I'm just gonna finish tomorrow. And that should be hard. And then tomorrow we don't have any of those groups, so I gotta figure out what we're gonna do tomorrow because that's a lot of time to fill. I am gonna do my rotation that I've been doing for the classes with my class tomorrow since they won't get a chance to do it with me. So we're gonna do it tomorrow, but yeah, so I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just hanging on, hanging on for dear life for these last six days. I don't know why this seems so much higher today than normal. Maybe it's, I'm just slouching. But anyway, I'll catch up with you guys later. Sorry, this was like a random vlog. I really didn't plan on vlogging today. After school, I was just like, you know what? I think I'm gonna vlog. And I didn't really have enough to make like a teacher talk video. So kind of joined the two this week. So hope you didn't mind that. Um, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for summer. Like how I'm gonna do my videos and stuff. It'll be a lot more non-teaching related stuff. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I'm so close to 30,000 and I'll probably do a giveaway um, when I hit 30 and then like more towards, it'll be over summer sometime because I want to get do a giveaway with some um, like teacher supplies for you guys. Um, someone had mentioned like, because I had a couple things that I just, I know I won't use um, that has been like sent to me or whatever. So I want to make sure to like give that to somebody who um, can actually use it and stuff like that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>